Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. And today I'll be talking about how to set up your network attached storage. In this case, I'm using the DS716 Plus from Synology. I definitely recommend getting the Synology because if you're just starting out on NAS, it's just much easier than anything else out there. I've never used a NAS before, and I can tell you it's really simple. So just follow these steps how to set it up. So let's crack on and set up this NAS. In my research for a two-bay NAS, my conclusion was that Synology was the easiest to use, the most user-friendly. This is what I wanted. Now, I'm happy to say I've been proved right with this, and you'll just see how simple it is to install the hard drives, set up the software. So, here we have the Synology DS716 Plus. It's Synology's latest two-bay NAS. It's the top-of-the-line two-bay NAS, actually. Anyway, we're just installing and setting up this thing. So let's see how easy it is. So basically, in front of you, you can see the NAS device. You have the two drive bays. All you do is basically push at the bottom, bang, it pops out. Simple as that. Now, if they are locked, unlock them with the key. But usually it should just pop straight out. Now, once you pull the tray out, you'll have two rails on either side of the tray. And you just go to the end where it says pull and just go bang. That's out. Simple as that. Go to the other side, repeat the process, pull it, bang. That's it. Out. You put the drive in what I would say would be backwards with the face plate, the blank face plate going into the entrance of the tray. And you want the SATA connectors on the outside. Now, you've got to make sure the holes are lined up before you put those rails back on. So make sure the holes are lined up. You can see the holes there. Once they're lined up, you put the, you just put those rails back on. They just snap in, simple as that, and then put the tray back. And boom, there you go. You've just installed your drives on your NAS. It's so simple and easy. So there you go. If you've got another hard drive, put that in. Repeat the same process, simple or easy. And now we'll go on to actually setting the device up. So first thing, plug your power cord in. Plug that into your wall socket. Then plug the other end of the power supply into your NAS. Then plug in the ethernet cable, one into your NAS, the other end into your router. Now you wanna to go to your web page. What you wanna do is type in find.synology.com and then it will look for your NAS. And there you have it, it's found your NAS. So let's connect. So then once you press connect, it'll go to setup. Yes, we go to setup. Now here, there's a few options. Basically, all you need to do is go to install now. So click on install. It's going to tell you it's going to wipe these drives. So remember, if you've got data on these drives, back up your data. But this is going to wipe your drives now. So remember that. So yes, we've got fresh drives. We're just going to carry on. It's going to wipe the drives. And it will go through the installation process here. And this installation process can take a little bit of time. So after it's installed, it'll restart and it will come up with this page here. Welcome. You are a few steps away from using your Synology DS716 Plus. Awesome. All right. So create your account here. Name the server. Put a username and password. And make sure this is pretty strong because you don't want people getting into your data there. So then you click on next once you've done that. And... It's going to ask you how often you want to check for updates. For me, I'll check updates daily and I let it install it automatically. You choose how you want it. It's up to you. So then you click next. Okay. Now this is creating an account with Synology. Now, if you've used Synology before, you're probably not watching this. So, <laughs> But if you've used it before, you can connect with your old ID. If not, just connect with a new ID. So make a new ID here, set up your account. Now, once you create an account, it'll come up with this page here. You are all set. Let's take a guided tour. So let's just click on go. And let it load there. As you can see, it's pretty quick. And boom, there you have it. You're inside. You've installed the software onto your NAS. And now this is DSM. 
this is where Synology shines. This is where they kill everybody else and it's ease of use of software. It's so simple, so easy. On the right here, you have your health monitor. You have your resource monitor. They come up all the time. So anyway, now we want to create a volume. So you go over to the storage manager icon, then you click on volume, and then you click on the top there, create. And you can have quick or custom. Now, if you haven't used NAS before, maybe you just want to go to quick. Me personally, I want to control what's happening. I'm going to go to custom. So then you go to the next page, choose an action, create a single volume or multiple volumes. Well, I just want one big volume. Then it will show your disks and you select the disks you're going to use for this volume. So there you have the two disks there. You just click on next. Of course, it's going to wipe your data creating this volume. So remember that. And here you have the options of what kind of RAID you want. So you want RAID 1, RAID 0 or JBOD. RAID 1 is mirror. So you have one hard drive with your data on it and the other hard drive backs up that data. So if one hard drive dies, your data is still safe. Now the other ones there, RAID 0 and JBOD, they, are not, they do not have any data protection. They are faster than RAID 1 and they give you the full amount of storage of two hard drives combined, but if one hard drive dies, that's it, your data's gone. So I definitely recommend going RAID 1. So all we do is press next, perform disk check. Now, if you have never set up a Synology device before on these hard drives, definitely you click yes and then click next. Before I recorded, I already set up a volume, so I don't need to do this check again. So for me, I'm just going to press no. Now here we go. What kind of file system do you want? Do you want BTRFS? Well, just basically click on that. That's the next generation file system. It has lots of advanced features. Just click on that. So select BTRFS and click next. And then it's going to say confirm your settings. It's going to go through all your settings you have there and you click on apply. Boom, your RAID volume is going to be set up. And that's basically it. You basically now have your network attached storage set up. It has a volume on it. Now we want to install some software on it, some Synology software. So it can put some folders on the hard drive that you can access from any computer. So let's go ahead and do that. So basically all you do is click on the package center and then go down to multimedia and we'll just start off with these simple ones here. So install all the ones I'm doing here. So the audio station, photo station, media server, video station, and download station. These are all Synology apps. These will put hard drive, these will put folders on your hard drives. So then once you've done that, you can just go to my PC on your computer on your on your Windows machine and there you have it. You'll have all these folders. Now those folders won't be there until you've installed those software. So make sure you do that. And then you can just go to Network Places and again, you'll find your NAS there. And that's why you want a NAS, because you have all your data protected. It can be accessed anywhere, on any computer, even on your mobile phone. You can see how simple it was to do that. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I've got lots of tech content coming, so stay tuned for that and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. What do you guys use for backup? And did you think that was pretty easy? And until next time, tally ho.